All right. Tonight is the night. I think I said that last time. But maybe tonight is actually the night that we, we're going to finish. We will see. Yeah. All right. We were in the, we got to the library last time, which is huge. Whoops. I clicked on it. Okay, you can have that. I'm very nervous. We mostly remember what happened last time. We kind of went over it a little bit. Okay. A and yeah, okay, so this isn't gonna work for you. Do you want to just move? We are streaming Sorry. together for the first time at the new setup today. I don't think it likes WAS. Does it not let you do WAS? I just click on things. Okay. Um, right. So, excuse us if we're struggling a little bit. Did, this, did you know it's made of metal? This hand roll? It's made of metal. Oh, thank God. Super secure. It's not on that table. Lights to the books. Huh, what does that mean? Interesting. Well, intelligence often hides itself in darkness. <laughs> Have you ever thought about the pages of a book? Each page only sees, what, maybe two or three minutes of light before the reader is on to the next? They spend the rest of their lives locked in darkness. Rather like myself. This is horrible. <laughs> Don't get me wrong. I'm not complaining, not at all. I live in the darkness, yes. But that has gifted me with the ability to catch the truths that others might miss. But don't worry, he gets two or three minutes of light once a, once a year or whatever. <laughs> you can hear the voices hidden in the darkness, you might say. Alright, it's getting real weird. Yeah. Okay, thanks, dude. Just... You need lights, lights to the books. Alright. It's a coat rack, like a place where you can hang coats and hats and stuff. Well, this one's not too big, so maybe just hats. The hat stand. Let's put hats on it. Okay. Is, can I go through all of I'm these? I'm pretty sure I, you can. Oh my god. This book is called uh, Mind Swap. Hi, Segway. Thank you. Showtime. Hello. I hope so. We hope so this time. Yeah. Also, tell us how it sounds. Am I too, are we too loud or is the game too quiet? I don't know. Like I said, I wouldn't mind switching bodies with my brother or Junpei too much, but I'd rather die than let Seven switch with me. I mean, very generous of you to swap. With Junpei? With Junpei, yeah. What the hell? Like, I'd even want to swap bodies with a little brat, like... Hey, were you just imagining it? You were. Shut up. Yeah, well, it wasn't the only one. Damn, Junpei, what you dog. Fuck? What? This is weird. She wants to touch boobs. It's a child. She's... Did we say she was 16 or 18? I think it's she's... It's a child. <laughs> I do not care what number they're assigning. <laughs> that's a child. <laughs> Look, I don't. I, that's what they're doing. Hate that. Okay. She's, the, that? she's 18. She's legal. Are you kidding me? She's canonically 18. She looks like she's 12. She, like, she I looks would... like she's in middle school. We've had this conversation before. Yeah. Uh, it's how she's. Yeah, it's it's just the, she... it's the big ol' hoodie. What's happening? I just want to turn us down like oh, a for touch. Sure. I think it's the giant hoodie makes yeah. it look like she hasn't grown into it, but I know nah, maybe that's a fashion decision. I don't know. Okay, there. Teletemporation. I don't know. Is that a word? So, I, I've never heard of this word before. I'm trying to deduce it just from the word. Something about time, right? Like. So yeah, tempo is is time related. Yeah. So. Hi, prop. How are you? Welcome in. We haven't done anything. We're just looking at books. So, Michael's alarmed by the fact that you can look at all the books. Yeah. So tell is is from a distance. Tempo is time. Time. So that might be a dumb word for time travel. Maybe. Well, I know what telepathy is, but I've never heard of teletemporation. Are they about to tell us? First, having the ability to travel through time. Hell yeah. We figured it out. Latin word roots. parts. Kitab al Azif. Man, they got some weird stuff here. I can't even pronounce this one. Who's that? Some famous guy? It's not a person's name. It's the name of a fictional book created by Abdul. I can't. Al Haz Red. Yeah, sounds right. It's said to be one of the sources used in the creation of the legendary Book of the Dead, the Necronomicon. Oh, so these are all occult books and stuff. Yep. This one says the golden rabbit and the moon on it. That's much better. Does that mean it's about a rabbit that lives on the moon? Rabbits are pretty cute, but what's the moon stuff about? I 
it's talking about the Judas tree that's said to grow on the moon, according to Chinese legend. You know. Judas. <laughs> okay, thanks. Great. All right, cool. Bye. So All right, so that's the one you just did. Yeah, so there's going to be like four sections. Okay, good news. You don't have to do all of them. Great. Energy theory, huh? I don't even understand the damn title. Looks like the shelf's all science and technology. Okay. That's the one you just did. Right. Okay. Paleontology. This one's about fossils, right? Ammonites are pretty nasty looking. Why did mankind lose their tails? Junpei, do you know what this one's about? I asked him, mate. I didn't even know that we had tails to lose. Maybe we should ask a human with a tail. Mankind's ancestors most likely lost their tails as they were no longer useful and the nutrients required to grow them were better put to use elsewhere. At least that's what I read. I was rather young and may have remembered it incorrectly. Well, why the hell would a kid be reading a book like that? I mean, maybe we went to a private school. Yeah. I read about that probably in middle school. <laughs> I love that Snake is, like, just the nerd of the group. Yeah. Smart guy. Mycographia. Ah, oh, yes. Robert Hooke's famous work. <laughs> he knows fucking everything. That's first, that's borderline encyclopedic. First published in 1665. He built a microscope and examined insects and organic substances and other things too small to be seen in detail by human eyes. He then drew pictures of many of the things he'd examined and published them in a book. I'd hazard a guess the shelf is concerned with natural sciences. I say, unable to read the titles. Creatures of the South. Well, Coast. he's correct. I wonder if this one's got pictures of colorful fish and stuff. Alright. One says, transition of extinct species. We need to hurry it up or we're going to end up in the pages of a book like that. Introduction to geology. Fun. Thinking about the Earth, I get, even when you're on the ocean. It's kind of romantic in a way, I guess. Mother Nature. Is that some sort of book about hippie chicks? <laughs> uh, probably not, except perhaps tangentially. It's most likely about environmental protection. It's I was just trying to make a joke. Dude, hippie chicks? Really? Theory of evolution. Heck, even I know this one. Is that Darwin guy, right? Well, yes and no. Charles Darwin wrote a book called On the Origin of Species. In it, he put forth his theory of evolution. Yeah, I'm in a party called Natural Selection. Exactly. Good job, everyone. Yeah, we're all working Theories together. Theories of the Cambrian Explosion? Except for uh, Clover. Clover she hasn't, is she hasn't not... gotten to that grade yet, you no. know? No, <laughs> stop. Did a bomb go off near somewhere called Cambria? Wrong kind of explosion. Roughly 500 million years ago, during what's known as the Cambrian Period. They engaged in aerial warfare and dropped bombs on no. one another. Research suggests the variety of living organisms increased by an order of magnitude. Yeah. Why that happened is, however, still something of a mystery. There are a number of theories. This book's most likely a collection of them. All right, science I thought, nerds. I thought Snake in that moment was going to be like aliens. Like a mutant yeah, ship aliens. to history channel. Like it was aliens all along. Oh, well, that one's different. <laughs> are property values going up out in space too these days? Man, I guess times are tough for aliens too. This one says cosmic inflation. <laughs> Great. Oh, it's here's Faraday's Law of Electrolysis. Kay Faraday. Kay Faraday. I believe that's going to be about electrolysis in an electrolyte solution. Boring. These particular laws were set down by Michael Faraday. He made a cage and it was cool. Oh. Oh. Nev. Pure. Good job, you did it. Okay, we're gonna look at those. Oh, yeah. Let's steal these titles. They're all just gibberish. Hey, what if we, like, switch them around? Switch them around? Yeah, if we move them around, maybe they'll spell something. Yeah, it's not like this is gonna say open. Oh, I get it. Yeah, it's worth a shot. Alright, do it. Wow. Ooh, oh look God, at that, that animation. Forever. Open. Oh. How about this? Wow, putting those books together in the right order. Open this thing right up. That was a piece of cake. Hooray, you did it, Junpei. God, you're smart. I guess that turned out well enough. I don't know. I can't see. <laughs> yeah, the letters happening? from the title spell out open here, fine bowl. Really? I thought they spelled out here, Earl. No. <laughs> Off of. Don't dead, open inside. Close enough. I want the light bulb. Yeah, please give it to me. This light bulb looks like it's brand new and it's really big, so it'll make a lot of light. No. Alright, great, done. 
quantum gravity. Seven, do you have any idea what this is? How about you start by using real words? Like gravity. Then maybe we'll get somewhere. Super symmetric string theory and 10 dimensional space time. Uh... They're just talking about super string theory. It's the theory of reality where, uh, how to explain, it says that all elements of the universe are governed by the vibrations and harmonics of tiny super symmetric strings. String theory. He's so nerdy, I love yeah. him. An overview of confer conformal field theory. Isn't this riveting, everyone? Yeah. Oh, well, it's a theory that posits an invariant quantum field where con conformal transformations can take place. He got no dialogue through the course of the game. Yeah, so we, we had to, to put, put it all here. All of it right here. Knock it off with the science voodoo stuff. You trying to put me to sleep? Theory of general relativity, huh? Oh, I know this one. That's Einstein, right? You heard that on the Discovery Channel. She hasn't gotten to that grade yet. Okay, really gonna need you to uh, stop implying she's 12. All right, we already, okay, so we did all these, so now you can spin. Uh, oh wait, yeah, we did all those, right, yeah. Oh my god. Guess what, there's more! <laughs> You're oh, never gonna know my god. where the hell you are. Uh, there's, there's <laughs> two more, okay. Yay! Automated robotic assembly line techniques. Is huh? this the content you all came for? Or a Ralt. What's that? Some sort of comic book? Geez, I guess boys really like that stuff, huh? No, you're thinking of a different sort of robot. This book is talking about automated machinery that's used to build things like cars. That one called. Uh, this is Foundations of GNA and Genetic Engineering. Did you said GNA? Yeah, GNA. Mm. Trial on the brain. Yeah. Communication and computer science, huh? That's a pretty generic title. To be honest, it's so vague, I don't really know what it might be about. An overview of photochemistry? I think whoever set this up wanted us to see the cover, not the spine. Let's look at it, okay? <gasps> ah, uh oh. Uh oh. A light bulb. Look, I think there's something hidden. Wow. It's a brand new light bulb. Looks like a pretty high wattage one, too. <laughs> I mean, my dad's a physics professor, so I'm doing fine. Great. Fair enough. All right, let's get the hell out of here. Principles of monkey behavior, huh? I'd imagine that's a book describing praxology studies on monkeys. Monkeys are very similar to humans evolutionarily, so I imagine the research was fruitful. Oh, look, Seven, here's a book that's perfect for you. It's called Correlation of Muscle, Bone Density, and Bone Strength. I'm just saying that because it says muscle. I thought she was going to say that because he's fat. Uh, no, I mean... I, I mean... <laughs> I think it's just called dissection. It's all medical stuff. From what I can tell, it sounds as though these books have been organized by genre. No. This library must be massive. I can't fucking see. I'm rather impressed by well, how well organized it is. The Dewey Decimal System. Function of the human brain, huh? I guess it's a book about the nervous system. I'd love to ask you to read it to me, but I don't think we have the time. I'm kind of curious about it, too. There's got to be a reason why people connect with each other, you know? Wirelessly. Uh, what's a Prince Pickle not doing here? Looks like about Little League. It does seem a little weird that it's so different from the others, huh? Maybe you ought to take it with you? Baseball. There's a baseball! Come on, let's see what's in it! I'm gonna go out of and say it's full of baseball stuff. Whoa! Head! <laughs> it's one of those pop-up books, isn't it? It says H-E-A-D. You mean, where my brain is? I love that it says Fundamentals of Baseball. I... This is so silly. I know, I really love it. It's beautiful. Human equilibrium theory. Human anatomy. Regeneration of internal organs. Dissection Alice, huh? Medical book. Speen, speen the book. Speen. Look, this one's called Recreation of Lost Human Function. You think you're talking about like, if you lose part of your body, then you could grow back? I don't think so. Maybe they're talking about reconstructing abilities that humankind once possessed. In other words, they may be talking about cultivating a sixth sense. Double smell. Ancient gladiators. What's this book doing here? Maybe they were researching human physical limits across history? No, I just needed to learn about the Roman Empire. They love thinking about the Roman Empire. Yeah. Looks like oh, mind we... swap. Uh, okay, we saw this one. Yeah, yeah. We... so that's like the, the part where you were. Okay. This this is because you were here at the t where the okay, table so these is. These are then new. Yes. Black hole hypothesis. Gamma ray astro astrophysics. Blech. Guess this bookshop has an astronomy theme. 
History of Buddhism. Hmm. Look, this one says Cultural Heritage of Rome, the Roman Empire. Hell yeah. Bet that's gonna be serious inheritance tax. <laughs> Fermian creatures. Seems a little fancy for some kind of prehistoric critter. Not to mention, I had something about amphibians without hair. I can't imagine they had much need of perms. Wow, that was gonna be a great fucking joke and you skipped past it. <laughs> it's got nothing to do with this. Well... Ruined the joke! Well, I don't know how to, uh... It's fine, it's not... It's fine. We'll never see it. You'll just never wow. know. Did they have a way to do this? I, I thought, thought there was, was a lock, but maybe I'm thinking of a different game. Maybe you're thinking of Ace Attorney. Too bad, you'll never get to hear the good joke. Oh, wow. Hey, it's another one of those kids' picture books. Looks a lot like the other one we found. Oh. Cowboys and Indians! Native Americans on the cover. Hey, take a look at this one. Native Americans, huh? Maybe it's got some. Whoa, milk! No. Lilk! Lilk. Or maybe, uh, kill. kill, but not because the eye's not... Yeah, the L's in the wrong place. Lilk. Lilk. At least the first one was a real word. Weird. Lil K. Lil K. Yeah, his rapper name. History of the medieval period. Maybe it's about through Lancelot? Yeah, he's, what? <laughs> Isn't he just a story? I don't think you're gonna find a guy who didn't exist in a history book. Oh. Uh -huh. No fun. Okay. I actually don't know whether King Arthur was a real person. Because I'm pretty sure they reference different kings in the, like, like his dad, like, Vortigern. I'm pr or, not his dad, but, like, his uncle or whatever. I think he was a real figure. What's Hellenism? I think it's something like a fusion of Greek and Oriental culture. Oriental history. Maybe this one's about China's 4,000 years of history or something? Yeah, Chinese history and Oriental history aren't the same thing. That's racist. I don't know if that's racist, honestly. Uh, this one's called History of the Western World. Well, I'd assume it's about European history. Uh, yeah. Just gonna leave it with that, Snake. Doesn't seem like you, uh... What? Maybe he doesn't like history. Maybe he's only a science boy. Yeah, does he not like history or europeans yeah maybe he doesn't like europeans he's racist super intelligent nice guy unfortunately racist uh this book's called greek mythology hell yeah damn that thing's huge can't imagine anyone's actually read the whole thing pretty sure it just put me to sleep no greek mythology is great greek myths. okay where the hell are we okay so we did uh, we did those those aren't real scaffold shut up in the, uh, set up in the shape of a cross <laughs> Great. Hand roll made of metal. Probably a wise choice of building material. Probably. But we're completely missing some right here. Yeah, so don't fall. A cupboard on the bottom floor. Well, you're gonna have to go More downstairs. Book. Stairs. You're gonna have to go to the stairs. Did we do that these. I think we did those. Big openings to the door of the library. It's pretty impressive. Almost looks like the door to a shrine or a church or something. Or a warehouse. Oh, do you think this is the or door to a boat. church? Uh. <laughs> There's another yeah. door after it, and I'm passing it the way beyond that. The I mean, the fact that this library exists mean I'd never get off this boat. I'm gonna hang out in this library forever. Yeah, and that's passed your way with the Neptune symbol engraved on it. Oh, right, because that's what we're looking for. We don't have right. the key to keep going. Okay, this sounds like a job for the best brother and sister team in the world. Yeah, it's like seven I don't exist. You don't, you're irrelevant. Oh, oh we're down that. here now. Well, you didn't fall. Right, scaffold, handrail. Did we look at? Yeah, I think we've. I think we've done all the books up here, right? I think so. All right. I'm just assuming everyone's dead because we spent too much time looking at books. Good. I'll, oh my god, there's more algebraic number theory, math. Oh, one. let's get away from this one. There's another one like that over here. It means something like primary number theory, or analytical number theory, or geometry. Oh my god, nerd. Oh my gosh, how did you know? Nobody said anything about those. Well, number theory is usually split into four chief disciplines. If they're a... I, I don't like how slow it takes to load. A wild so guess, the other it. three would be there as well. Looks like I was right. I don't know why it does the yeah, I don't know. roll. I don't either. Alright. This one's... Gold? Oh, that's you, sorry. This one's Gold Box Conjecture. 
conjecture. What's it about, like, magic or psychic stuff or something? Right, I bet it's about jewelry, isn't it? It may have an odd title, but it's actually a very respectable mathematics book. It sucks. It deals with one of the unsolved problems of additive number theory. Oh, I'm sorry I said anything. Look, let's just not get into this right now, okay? How dare you, honestly, to Do imply you... that this book isn't just the best. Do you want my pillow? No, it's okay. Are you sure? Yep. Okay. Oh, God, no! It's the Pythagorean Theorem. That's the famous one. Sounds like there are a number of math books in this section. Let's leave. Yeah. That's a weird book, Junpei. Indian mathematics. Huh, that's funny. Why's that funny? She too is. She does there. not clarify. It says Riemann hypothesis. It's so excited about. Yay! It. What's there to hypothesize about with a Riemann? Isn't it pretty straightforward? <laughs> Heavens no! There are many factors: length, girth, lubrication, or lack of. It's an exciting and rapidly growing field. Hmm. Yes. Whoa. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Stop right. talking. <laughs> girth. Dad kind. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell is this? Wasn't that a German mathematician? <laughs> was it? Sorry. Maybe it's a com compilation of his work. I thought it was a fictional series about how the only people left on Earth are dads. Dad kind? Dad kind. Nibereinsnis. This book's in German. It looks like it's the complete works of something. Never heard of it. Oh, oh. No, if Snake doesn't know what it is, I don't think we'll ever know. Owen! Owen isn't enough to go on. Perhaps it's about the English Revolutionary? Sheldrake? Sheldrake. Is it Sheldrake? Huh? I think we might have heard of Sheldrake before. Oh, uh, did we? Is Maybe. He, like, a nonsense? I think he's a psychologist. Oh, okay. Is, it, is he the one that did the morphogenetic field experiment? Because oh, okay. I think he is. Origin of Japanese folklore. Seems like a bunch of books about Japanese culture here. Mostly ones about folklore, though. Well, folklore can cover a wide range of subjects. History, urban life, religious trends, environmental changes, oral traditions. Folklore can cover all those things, if you know where to look. This looks pretty deep. Agriculture, not historical organizations of folklore. Oh, that sounds like a thesis. Yeah, modern Japanese literature. Hey, there's another one of those picture books here. Something about these things feels kind of nice, you know? Brings back good memories. I guess even people like Seven were kids once. Mm -hmm. No shit, you little brat. Hey guys, cool it. Alright, I think I'm gonna take this picture book with me. Tales of Old Japan. Got a magic wand on it. Okay. So, what's inside? Well, aren't you gonna open it? I thought that was a hammer. I'm pretty sure it's just gonna have some pages inside, smarty. Whoa! C... Say five? Say five! No books on Pokemon. There are... We have not found the Pokemon section yet. That is true. Yeah. Hello, mm. how are you? Welcome in. Yeah. Alright. That, uh, where did it go? I took the picture book, so I might as well leave. Let's see what we got here. So many books. One with this one. Whoa, what's this? Warm? Oh, sorry. Whoa, Warm. what kind? It's a deal with the sappy stuff. What the hell just happened there? Like folklore and myth. I thought it was going to be like romance or Don't something. Don't touch her. But yeah. That's inappropriate. Yeah. Behold. The Behold. astronomy books are are segregated. Yeah. This bookshelf has sort of a glass inlay. It's pretty big, but there's only six books in it. That seems kind of weird. Looks like there's something on the bottom. Can't really see it, though. The glass is all foggy. Awesome. A awesome. Won't budge. Me and escape rooms. Awesome. No, the glass door is cylindrical. Oh, we lock. need we need you a... Know, kind of lock where you read the numbers until you got the right ones and you open it. What the hell is this? There's... It's like they gave us the answer. Guess what? I just give it a shot. Did they? Yeah, if you look at the, uh... Oh, right. There's, six, there's numbers. Six, three, two, four, one, five, right? I wasn't paying attention. I was too distracted by the fact they segregated the astronomy books. Six, three, two, four... Even Junpei's like, wow, they're really slacking at the end here, huh? That works? 
You did it. Okay. You did it, Junpei! Yay! I don't know why, but I don't feel particularly happy about it. <laughs> Even Junpei is disappointed. Whatever. At least the lock's open. Let's see if we can get open, alright? Junpei's like, that was lame as hell. Plus, I spot books are pointed. Oh, there's another lamp. A light bulb. Feels like a light bulb. Pretty high wattage, too, unless I miss my guess. Jim, I lots of light. hate how you just Sense said that. Everyone. All sorts of languages. Can't read them. Mostly because I can't read. Yeah, like English. Uh, small well, technically, I think they are size. Japanese, so. Uh, I guess that's true. Uh, like three of these things that look like the music stands. Oh, yeah. There we go. Let's try putting a picture of us, he said. Right. Perfect. Hmm. <laughs> she just, like, appeared in the yeah. middle. It's a little weird. Realize these things. Oh, oh now you need the lights light. back. Great. Zero's getting bored, wants to keep things moving. <laughs> they really struggled. So Zero's like, I'll just go change the combination really fast. So something yeah. I can figure out. Way to go. Good job, buddy. Something projecting on the bottom. These letters, they seem familiar. Sheldrick 5. Sick. Oh, hang on. We're gonna, we're gonna get a voice to sing. I I saw the rest of this oh, do you want to change it to novel? Yay. Yeah, I think it was somewhere around here. Let's go take a look. Okay. So having a clover walked off, leaving June Payne's snake behind. Sheldrake. Have you heard of him? Sheldrake, I mean. Jupe grinned. Yeah. Lotus told me. Okay, good. It is the morphogenetic field guy. There's a, There's British, a British biochemist, biochemist named Sheldrake. Funny a rather interesting, interesting theory. theory. Morphogenetic, morphogenetic fields, fields, which relies on the theory of morphic, morphic resonance. resonance. She's dead now. Really? Right. I don't believe in any From of that. Lotus, huh? Well, Clover also said something to me about that stuff. Yeah, Clover's like, I know all about it. Anyway, I don't believe in it. She did? Yeah, um, what was it? Don't worry, we're getting the flashbacks. The ability to access a morphogenetic field is affected by a couple of things. The first is epiphany, and the other is danger. <sighs> that girl. I told her not to tell anyone. Uh-oh. <laughs> you did? Why? Well... Give his eyes narrowed. Okay, I didn't push it because we're in a hurry, but I'm kind of sick of this. How about you just tell me, okay? <laughs> so relatable. Good. Don't give me that. About the experiment. <laughs> I know about it. Snake, snake's shoulders slumped and he shook his head slowly. Shake's shoulders. <laughs> it was oh. difficult. There's a lot of Got S it. and SH words in a Got row it. there. <laughs> Shake's shoulders, snake's snoulders. No, 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 no. <laughs> Sigh. He'd finally given up. Very well, fine. I'll tell you everything. We got nothing but time. Here. Let's move to the top floor. Why? Because we need a view. <laughs> uh, all right. We climbed the stairs to the top floor. Yes. <laughs> Shake snolders. Yeah. Snake was silent for a moment after they arrived and then finally crossed his arms and spoke. I suppose I might as well start by telling you why I kept quiet. To be honest, don't fucking cut off his voice lines. Apparently not, sir. Zero told me not to. I had Zero told choice. him not to. Wow. He didn't walk up and tell me, of course. But, you know, he left Are you me a note. Sure you don't want he my gave pillow? me a message okay. engraved on a card. Snake reached into his sleeve and pulled out a small, stiff piece of paper, which like did- Zero's giving you lots of bullshit. Which survived you changing clothes. Yeah. That's- Oh, it's the same card. one, I think. Is it the it same one? It looks just like the one you showed us earlier. So you had two cards. No. Only one. You just didn't read that part. <laughs> what do you mean? I thought that card just had some rules for the nonary game on it. Yes, it did. And but you can't read Braille, you read fool. You. However, they were not the only thing on the card. There was something I didn't read. Well, perhaps I should say there was something I couldn't read. And that was... Tell no one of the events that took place nine years ago. Tell, and I activate your system. Oh, that's technique. rude. Wild. Okay. It's a threat on our lives. Oh. <laughs> oh. Shit. Well, um. I get it. Snake nodded. Well, what about Clover? Did she get a message from Zero Two? Zero Two. I don't believe she did. But oh. Doesn't it strike you as strange that Zero would shut my mouth, but not hers? I believe the young one's traumatized enough that she won't. Stop yeah, we don't need right? to. Yeah. yeah. To be on the safe side, however, I told her it was best not to tell anyone. 
Still, apparently she told you. That girl. What's wrong with her telling me? I figured some because stuff I literally just explicitly her. said I told her not to. I mean, it looks like the whole activate her detonator thing was just a bluff. She's prancing around downstairs, happy as a clam. Now that you're back, clams they they experience plenty of happiness. That's very true. I've decided I can trust you. Thank God. Well, I mean, we're to we've made it truth. to this the point. The chance that Santa is zero is very high. I'm yeah, no shit, Santa bud. Santa doesn't have the time to observe us at the moment. And at any rate, even if you were, I very much doubt you would kill us. How did we come to the conclusion that her bracelet was nine and Santa's was zero? Um. Was it that we said her six bracelet was a nine upside down and that's our whole basis for it? Um. I kind of don't remember. Because they could both be nine. They could both be zero. I think it was maybe just the weirdness that he's always insisted on going with her. Sure, no, no, but what I'm but saying is, they could both be zero or nine. That's true. Yeah. Like, Look, it doesn't have to be one it. or the other. We already harped on last episode well, about right. how dumb it is. Right. Clover told me about the four-leaf clover. About the words. If he knew about that, then he was in my group during the first experiment. I'm sure of it. He wouldn't kill us, no matter what the situation was. That's a lot of faith in a man who held a gun to someone's head earlier today. To be fair, it was a gun to his friend's head. Yeah. Snake paused and cocked his head as though he was listening to something very far away. <sighs> the water coming into the ship. We're actually yeah. about to die. His face looked dark as though something was weighing on him. Protect the hey, books. Uh, Snake? Jibby wasn't quite sure what to say. Snake turned and looked at him. Yes, I know. You want to know what happened during the experiment? Yeah. How much do you know? Yeah. Yeah. Clover told me about... Don't worry, we recap. I see. The morphogenetic field in the experiments nine years prior. How the experiments had taken place simultaneously... But then he's gonna re-recap. One being the ship, and the other being a building in Nevada. That's the trick. We're in the building in Nevada, not the ship. <laughs> and the girl that died during the experiment. And then we all drowned. The end. She told you all that, did she? Wow, so much for my explicit instruction for her not to say anything. Snake looked down, his face was tight, a slight tremor shook his body, and he tried to hide it. He was putting on a good front, but even Junpei could tell he was holding back something deep and powerful. For how many children were kidnapped, it's crazy only one died. Uh, That's the, true. The bracelet that looked like a zero... For not to have a value of six, and they drew two conclusions from this. First, it wasn't a zero, but the letter O, which has a digital root of six in hexadecimal. The second conclusion was that since that bracelet was a six, June's bracelet couldn't also have a value of six because, well, we have no idea. <laughs> <laughs> so we instead went, yeah, June's bracelet, hers is nine. nine. Like the ninth man's. <laughs> yeah, because why? We gotta have because the ninth man's has that. to be nine. Yeah. Or I guess zero. But then we already have another zero. Right. Wait, so, do we not have a zero? No, we don't. The second rule is even more bizarre because we know there were two number two bracelets, Snake and Guy X. Yeah. I think that it makes way more sense for them both to have zero bracelets. Yeah, I think so too. They are jointly doing this together. Uh. <laughs> anyway. He made as if to brush something from his face and looked up at Junpei. At any rate, I now know how much you've learned. All that remains for test. us to determine is who did this and why, right? Well, well also, you didn't really tell us anything. Right? Yes. Yeah. Can you tell me what happened? Yes. Snake yeah. nodded slowly. Yes. The people who organized the initial experiment were from a company called Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Oh, Aces There company. were four of them running the show. Gentaro Hongo, Nagisa Nijisaki, Teruaki Kubota, Kagechika Musashido. One of these is the ninth man, right? Yes. And then one is Ace. Uh, the fat one. one of the first one is Ace. I believe uh, the second one is the ninth man. Should I recognize these two? No, I don't think so. Is one of them Ocho? No. We don't know that yet? Oh, well. Whoops. No, we do. We got both of them. He said that he there. knew... I thought Ace said that in his confession. Yeah. That he knew the ninth man because he was involved in the previous experiments. And yes. he lied to him. Yes. Because he lied to him about the doors. Yeah, we got that already. Hongo we just don't know his CEO name. Well, you're, I mean. 
Nijisaki was Never mind. his right hand man. I don't think that's the him. Share of the planning. That's the ninth. Or no, this is the ninth man. Yeah, sorry, I got his name Kubota wrong. Kubota led the company's research and development division. Musashido was their majority stockholder. I love that he got looped in. Yeah. Like, all he did was donate money. I don't <laughs> recognize either of these, I don't mm. think. Should I? Mm -mm. Oh, okay. It was these four people who planned the initial experiment. Hmm. Let me simplify it for you. Hongo designed it, and Nijisaki put it all together. Kubota developed the technology required, and Musashido provided the cash. Why is this important? Huh, so it's Hongo, yeah, got Nijisaki, it. And now we Kubota, know. <laughs> Musashido. Do you begin to shake the sense he'd heard those four names somewhere before? Of course. More than four people were required to conduct an experiment of this scale. To that end, they organized a top secret team to assist them with their research. All in all, they gathered ten people or so. Those ten completed the team. I love that. They were able to begin the project. Being yeah. Locked up. yeah. They named it the Nonary Project. The purpose of the experiment was to research the prospect of controlling a human mind through sheer will. I mean, they they had ten people. They called it the Nonary Project. <laughs> I feel like you missed you missed the ball. Who's the, the tenth? Per like vessel, I they had ten you people. Could they could have had this nine control. People. Was the morphogenetic field? What? What do you mean? Because the nonary game. Yeah, the, the number nine. nine. They used ten. Is not nine. No, who's the tenth person? They just no. He just said th they had an elite team of ten people. Oh. Like the, they with how this game has been, they could have had an elite team. Well, of nine it wasn't people. about them. It was about how many people they kidnapped. <laughs> But they could have had a team of nine people, is what I'm no, saying. No, no, no. This would have been impossible with nine. You, had to, have you had to have ten. It was an arbitrary number. They could have been the number be nine. That's what I'm saying. Way oh. too much work for nine people. Not too much work for ten people. You're right. That that tenth guy, King, the linchpin, holding the team together. Why did the glycerin suddenly begin to crystallize? Not you two. <laughs> no. Why did the crystal structure of EDT? How do you know all of this shit change? we've been talking about? Why did the rats improve their puzzle solving Wait, skills? Wait, actually, though. Each generation. Did well, we tell him we talked about all these things? No. <laughs> I don't think so. So spooky. Experiments with humans produce the same. The Nonary Project and friends. The more yeah. people who knew yeah. the answer to a question, the more there were who could answer correctly without having seen the problem before. And your friend, Steve. Why yeah. is that? How could it happen? Hmm. The answer is that the shape of the answer has been stored in a field invisible to the naked eye. This is all true. Insane. <laughs> like. Truly, truly bananas that they're like, yep, this is what we're going with. I'm, I'm like, sure yeah. the CIA has done it. <laughs> yeah. Like, generational memories, we know are a thing in animals. Like, yeah. it's been proven. All that's right. the rat thing. Well, no, right? it's been proven in birds. Oh. Uh, well, I mean, that's what they were going for with the rat thing. just as easily have it, but we know for sure birds have, like, generational knowledge. Yes. Because ravens are able to they identify... They can identify faces. Uh, faces... But they can also identify people who have, like, attacked their them. parents, yes. which is crazy. Um, there was, like, a study of, like, people who Birds have out. the morphogenetic field. You heard it here yeah, first. Yeah, the birdogenetic field. And through that field... Oh, like Ace. Yeah. <laughs> <information> <laughs> Birds about. are better than Ace. You You're heard right. that here first as well. You're right. Ravens, unlike Ace, can identify faces. <laughs> 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 Aww. Oh, that'd be really funny if that something that came up. That's... Essentially, Ugh. the idea behind morphogenetic fields. Are you telling me that they could have just uh, have the fields between Ace and birds instead yeah. of doing all Wait, this so weird the, child I think all we need to do is give Ace a raven, a raven familiar. And then But the raven could only connect, tell him who was nice to him and who was mean to him, I suppose. That's really all you need, right? I guess. Ace was jealous of birds. Yeah. But that's just a theory. A game theory. I'm taking a drink out of it. Let's say someone killed another person because the devil told them to do it. <laughs> okay, wild insane presumption. Insane jump. Like, all right, we're talking about pseudoscience, telepathic nonsense. Let's bring the devil all right, into this. The devil. All right, you know the devil. He, uh... <laughs> Continue. Whether the devil exists or not has no relevance to the murder. Uh, I'm pretty sure it does, 
because the devil told him to do it. They believe the devil exists. Whether or not you know, like, objectively, whether the, like, whether it actually exists or not. I mean, for liability, legal liability. For legal, so, yes, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, but does. to the murderer, it doesn't matter, is what he's saying. Until he goes on trial. Um. Uh, I mean, yeah, and like, yeah, no, it does. So <laughs> for, like, intent and stuff. believed in the morphogenetic field. That's right. But I still don't get it. You said they wanted to figure out how to control people, right? That is what you were saying. <laughs> yes. That is what you said? So how are they going to do that with a morphogenetic field? I'll keep it simple. Mind control. But please, Let's God, do. 10, people have solved the Why do we have to keep supposing? And <laughs> <laughs> proving lack of intent at trial. The devil made me do it, Your Honor. Uh, insanity? Question mark? The I mean, that's what all the knowing that cases answer. that involve exorcism no basically boil down to. Right. Let's have another example, shall we? What matters is that Honko believe birds are real. <laughs> the the fool. fool. We all know birds aren't real. They're just Say tools of monitoring by the government. Exactly. Right all right, everybody do it. Again. You've lost me. You've lost me on these insane hypotheticals. Um, you've lost me, Percy. You've lost me. Completely. A million people. Okay. Tomorrow? The chances of you doing a handstand would be higher, even if you had heard nothing. Of I don't think that's true because I can't handstand. do a handstand. That yeah, I, I was about to say You've the never same. Never considered uh, that, have you? The chances would remain zero, as I cannot do a handstand. <laughs> Mankind's thought process and actions are all part of a resonant event. All of the resonant events encoded in the fields are projected onto you. All sure. right. Sure. Yeah. yeah. I literally have no balance. Yeah, me too. Yeah, nice. I'm not strong enough to do a handstand. But what if the devil told oh, me to do a handstand? Yeah, you're right. <laughs> the right yeah, your have honor, to. the devil made me do it as you walk in on your hands. You'd have to. Non-handstand club, this yes. assumes you believe in this theory. Do you follow No. So uh, I follow? I, it's all right. Yeah. <laughs> Uh, the voice actor for Junpei does a great yeah, job. Yeah, he's awesome. Yeah. I think. Um, now, if there was a person who had the same effect as those millions of people, what would happen? If that one say? person were to do a handstand, other people would find themselves wanting to do handstands I think this is just well. social media famous. <laughs> yeah, except... I think all you needed to do was get famous on social media. Except you don't have to be aware of it. Can you imagine what a person with powers like that would be able to do? You could make people do handstands. Yeah, that's, I, that <laughs> seems like about it. Holy shit, you could make people do handstands wherever you wanted. Come on, there's no way. I'm not done. I'm imagine sorry, sorry. Scenario. Imagine another person. A different person? This is an ordinary person. Let's say he does a handstand. What a loser. What if there was someone who could grab the resonant event he created by doing that? and use it to make other people do handstands. Why would we need the other person? <laughs> so, initially, I had thought that this whole thing was because he couldn't see faces and he wanted to like cure his ability to see faces. This is going- Now he just wants to take over the world. This is like fully world domination. So, in a way, this explanation is much better. Yeah, than, than him just wanting to be able to see faces. Oh, I wanted to use. I'm gonna kidnap 18 children to so that I can. my ability to see faces. When you know, let's let's look at Snake, another person adjacent who just can't see anything. Yeah, <laughs> and he's like, yeah, feels really I'm, selfish. I'm cool with that actually, because I'm not a, a psychopath. World domination with handstands. With handstands. Actual world domination with telepathy, a much better reason to torture and kidnap right. people's children. Not better, but like, it justifies better the expense. Better than just trying to fix your face blindness. Yeah, like, who's it gonna- It justifies the expense. Right? Like, who's gonna invest? Mr. Fourth Person, yeah, who's the who, stockholder. Why did you- Why would you invest into curing face blindness? Well, because then you can sell it to other people with face blindness at a huge markup. That's like a small karma. market, I'm gonna be honest. <laughs> But not invisible. But not invisible, you're or like, right. Or like, that's not the word I was looking for, but, but you know what I mean. world domination, though. That's a big market. That's a big market. What would happen then? A person uh... who has the power to write to the field, and someone who can read from the same. You could think of them as the writer and the reader, or the transmitter and the receiver. 
I don't know why they what capitalized the writer and reader because I'm pretty sure transmitter and receiver like is the terms they use for the rest of the series. That's super but... funny. Because because I'm the reader and the game creator is the writer. Yeah. Oh. Oh shit. He's making me want to go and commit murder. Weird kidnapping bomb game with children. I don't think that was his intent. It was all along because he's the writer and I am the reader. Mm. You've been thought about it for a minute. So the transmitter's resonant event can be transmitted through hands to a handstand. The receiver. We all. Or, I love. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Hi. Right, thank you so much for the bits. It is borderline madness with the quantum physics theories. Yes. It has been enjoyable. It has been enjoyable. I it's, think I've been having a great time. It's had me in tears with the. But with I already the, know what happens with the mod madness at certain points. Like I have been crying. So you laughing. want to play the rest of the series? We'll see how this one ends because the ending <laughs> of a game matters a lot. Okay. Um, That's fair. I love how he also, you know, writer and reader capitalized, immediately dropped those terms. Yeah, and you that's what I said. Already using. You said the rest of the series. I didn't know you meant right now. the next I'm sentence. I meant the rest of the series. I have a transmitter can control. Oh, they God. said writer and reader, and I was like, never heard that before. Wait, no, this, this is not the premise. The premise was the receiver did a thing, and the transmitter could make other people do that same thing. Are we saying we're changing these we, terms I, now? I, uh... Like the uh, receiver would do an action and the transmitter would go, all right, that action I'm going to broadcast to other people. That's what he just explained in the previous slide. This is a completely different previous premise. Slide. That's what you're saying, right? I believe Snake's, Snake's like, no. Fully pulled out a Braille slideshow and Jupiter's like, this doesn't help at all. Yes, exactly. If you've enjoyed uh, the experience of this game, you'll enjoy the experience of the later games. Okay. So long as it's okay for my experience of enjoyment is bashing the nonsense science. Yeah, no, that I, th they I think through. it is. Uh, because everyone in these games are buying Welcome it. Welcome to my TED Talk. <laughs> I... Yeah. Fuck. Because I feel yes. like. Close enough, at least. Sure. Snake's like, uh, you know what? Snake's like, that's it's not, lost on him. That's not at all what I was just saying, but fine. Yeah, whatever. You have a field day with the next two. Good. Come on, that's just crazy. Well, Good if you time. want to prove that, then you'll have to test it first. What? Um. Okay. At least that was how they thought. That was why they decided to do their experiment. That was how the Nonary <laughs> Project began. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> well, unintended fun. I mean, hey, scientific, uh, scientific theory, right? Yeah, test it. By the way, Junpei? But that's not how scientific theory works. You have to, you have to have a hypothesis and then yeah. conduct an experiment. Right. And then share your results? Is that, what, is that the scientific theory? I don't well, remember. Well, yeah, I mean, that is, well, you have to test multiple times and... Yeah, well, we didn't get there. Um... Yeah, and, like, you also have to have a null hypothesis. And it sounds like they weren't testing for a null. Yeah, they didn't really have a control. Experiment. Yeah. How could you? Yeah, you can't. With, really. this, with this hypothesis, there of, is no control. Of literally everyone is connected through this field. What would the control be? Somebody who's not in a life-threatening yeah, situation. I, I, I mean, like, are we not saying there's variables between individuals and their ability to receive and send these signals? Or is everyone identical? <laughs> they theory, did not have an IRB. That's so true. This theory, like, so far as it's been explained, has no variance explained between no. individuals, which is so problematic. Well, to be fair, I brought up the scientific theory. Snake did not say that. Well, they said the first test. Snake just said we it. thought we had to test. They thought they had to test it. Right. Which, like, let's... Let's take this a step further for a second and say, all right, we're testing this in the morphogenetic field. And they happen to pick two people with actual telepathy. That's well, already they did problematic. Kidnap nine sets of people. <laughs> and if it works on one of them, that's not proving anything. Well, you maybe, have to yeah. have it work on all, a many. majority, a, a significant, a statistically significant number of them. Well, maybe that's what they were going for. Maybe that's why they kidnapped nine sets of people. I guess. Nine seems like a weird number, it but... Seems, it seems like you need I guess you have a majority, if you have five. Just get, it's not, at least it's not an even number. I feel like you'd have to have more than nine. Have you ever heard of <laughs> Well, the we're gonna do multiple. Experiment? Oh god, here we go. The Garfield is experiment, the, the it's Garfield back, is yeah. Is this, is this, would Garfield no. put them in the lasagna? No, yeah, yes, this is the lasagna. No, well, that's not the rats, right? 
Is it not? No, I think yeah, this... Yeah, that was an experiment in telepathy. That was, right. This is a telepathy one. Place a pair of subjects in separate rooms. And one eats lasagna, and the other one describes how it tastes. You show one a picture and ask the other what they see. You want them to kidnap more people? I mean, yes. I'm not saying that, that exactly. they should. I'm just saying that for science... <laughs> Maybe you should have. Maybe, you know, you should have. They were planning on doing multiple rounds, and then, you know, it kind of got interrupted when someone died, so... I feel like your null hypothesis should not have resulted in someone literally dying. Well... They didn't plan on that part. Were they planning on, oh, I hope this works, and if it doesn't, the child dies? Because in that case, that's maybe a Maybe you'll just have to keep reading. Because, you know, maybe you should have not done that. That sounds like a terrible plan. They're children. They're easy to trick. <laughs> you could have just said, child, if you don't do this by X time, you will die. And the child would go, oh, shit. And then you could, you know, show them an unloaded gun. And the child would believe you. Like... Children are stupid. <laughs> Show them some close-up magic, and they'll be like, "Ah, shit, I'm gonna die." <laughs> and they're like, "No, we actually incinerated this child." You could have had a video of a child getting incinerated before the next kid be like, "If you don't do it, that's gonna happen to you," and just gaslight the children. And instead, they killed a child. This is the dumbest experiment I've ever heard. <laughs> And they had a fuck ton of money and apparently some actual, a team of ten, not nine scientists working on it. I mean, if there were only nine, this would have been so much worse. It would be so much worse. Or maybe it was that tenth guy who was like, no, no, we have to kill Actually, the kids Actually, yeah, it for probably real. was his fault. We have to kill the kids for real. Because if we just gaslight the kids, they'll use the telepathy to tell one another that it's not real. I feel like this commentary is going to be played back in court. And then, and then you know, they'll tell one another, they go, oh, that makes sense because telepathy is for sure real. And we can't trick the kids. It has to be real death and real. I wish you. I wish we had camera on so you could see how passionate he's getting right now. This I'm is getting worked up. I again. I don't know all the details of this, but I have a lot of them. And this is so dumb. This is so stupid. So why did you bring up the Gansfeld experiment? Ugh. It was used to screen subjects for the Nonary Project. The hospital in a remote town was affiliated with Cradle Pharmaceuticals. Which is wild, by the way. Okay. That's fine. I mean, yeah, you could have, like, Kaiser Permanente. <laughs> yeah, it was Kaiser Permanente. Yeah. <laughs> Pongo used it to conduct experiments on visiting children in secret. Seems like a violation. Terabantian? <laughs> Some of them, in fact, Pretty much. have potential. The, uh, do you know that is, like, one of the first things I thought of when I... Oh, when you, when you yeah. were reading it through? Oh, good. I made a reference. Well, now we have a better plan for the experiment. I'm sure nothing bad will happen. So, yeah. yeah. Uh, the reference I just made is to the book um, Way of, King. Way of Way Kings, Kings, which is incredible, and you should read it. It's but, true. Uh, yeah, that is so funny. He began to gather children that showed promise. <laughs> children uh -oh. that seemed as though they might be able to access the field. Okay. You know, because we have a test for that. Yeah, of it's, course. The, yeah, it's of the gas field experiment. Right. They were kidnapped. His face barely moved as he spoke. There were nine pairs of siblings taken, or 18 children total. For reasons that were not fully understood at the time, each pair had one transmitter and one receiver. Okay. They were split perfectly. Why is the assumption that siblings are better at... Telepathy? Well, they did test a lot of people, I guess. But... I don't uh, know. So I guess siblings, right? Again, we're running into that same thing I just discussed. We we ran a test on a, let's say, of a bunch we're of not, people. We're not going to finish tonight. Let's though. say we run this test on a bunch of people. And, oh, it comes back. All right, we found 18 people who might have telepathy. Oh, great. There are nine pairs of, of siblings. siblings. You should immediately go, oh, well, hold on. We might have stumbled across something else, something else entirely, which might be, separately, that siblings have telepathy. Just with one another. Like, that's a thing that we might have discovered. And run with that instead. Not- No, 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 no. All right. We carry on. <laughs> We're going to assume that this is just a coincidence. <laughs> As such, the 18 Ugh. children were split into two groups of nine. I mean, and, and I would buy, you know, siblings are able to intuit a lot from one another. Because that's true. Mm -hmm. Like, siblings, you know, kind of have a little bit of telepathy. A little bit. Did you ever have that with your siblings? Not so much. I don't think so. No, I had that with I believe brothers. that they have that. Okay. 
with each other. Okay. But I was always kind of the odd one out. Ah. Uh, well, you thankfully would not be dragged into I the nunnery game. So much. <laughs> Aw, we missed you too. <laughs> but there were several times growing up where my brothers and I, I'd like walk through a room and look at them. It's like, ah, oh, I'm fully aware of what's happening right now. And they're like, ah, oh, yes, very good. No, and no, I just didn't, move I'm, on with that. I don't think I can ever say that. The children who were put into group Q oh, they're D &D were the ones minis. who excelled at transmitting. Thank God we were able to identify that. They were transferred to the mock experiment building known as Building Q in the Nevada desert. <laughs> okay. The children who excelled at receiving were put in group A. Did he just say the Nevada desert? Yeah. That's they've been saying that the whole time. What? Is that a real desert? Nevada's Nevada? Just, Nevada pretty much the entire state's a desert. Oh yeah, no, I think they're just saying in a desert in Nevada. One of the many like, desert subsessions yes. in Nevada. Okay. <laughs> I don't think the Nevada de I don't know, maybe the Nevada desert is a real desert okay. in Nevada. Right. Alright. Or is it Group Nevada? Well, because like, I think it's the Mojave is the famous gigantic. one, right? That's in Nevada, right? Is it? I don't know. I don't know anything about I geography. Be, I could be way off. I thought, I thought that was in, like, not America. Oh. Well, I thought it was because the Moja Mojave sounds like... We're American. lawyers. Yeah, we're not geography We're majors. not. We don't know. I'm pulling Mojave straight from Fallout New Vegas and assuming it's somewhere Oh, it is in Nevada. You're right. Thank God. Thank you, Fallout New Vegas. All right. Well, <laughs> fuck me, I guess. Uh, I thought it was not in America. No, it's a Native American term. I'm yeah, no, sure. that actually really checks out. Um, from the experiments he had conducted so far, Hongo had- Wait, what? Hang on. Back up. There were, there were previous experiments? I guess. There are two things that can increase one's resonance. With Maybe it was just this, the psychic shit. The first is epiphany. How did he figure this shit out? <laughs> this is the other thing of, oh, uh, yes. How do we, uh, in the hospital that we're running these telepathy experiments on, we got to put these kids in danger and see if that affects it in any way. Oh, shit, it might be. And then the other one, you know, sometimes it just happens, sometimes you know? Sometimes it just happens. Epiphany. Sometimes it just happens. That's a factor. I hate this. Have you ever been faced with an especially difficult problem and thought about it very long and very hard no. until finally an answer suddenly appeared in your mind? They're, they're calling hard work a separate thing? That's, I mean, uh, yeah. I, well, I think it, they're only concerned with, like, the second half it of that sentence. It may seem obvious to say so. But that is what is meant by epiphany. Like, it, that it appears suddenly. Okay. That's what they're going for. Right. I mean, most often this is referring to like, oh, you get so in-depth that you're, you kind of tunnel vision on a particular thing. Mm -hmm. And then you stop and you look at it from different angles. And then you're suddenly like, oh, I've been looking at this wrong. Yeah, but because... I think that's what they're going for. All right. So, you know, you know, telepathy... <laughs> <laughs> Look at telepathy differently, and then it works. Well, they didn't specify telepathy. It's not an epiphany unless a light bulb appears, obviously. Where it can be easily interpreted. True. Right, yeah. These kids, you know, all 18, nine out of the 18, light bulbs. Light bulbs. They, we gave them light bulbs, actually. Yeah. Adding danger to that equation allows for even easier field access. Don't Thank ask God. how we figured that out. That's where Hongo came in. I introduced the danger to the children. They set up a number of puzzles across the gigantic. Uh. The participants had to solve each one before they could move to the next room. Of course, he hadn't forgotten to include danger. He had detonated a bomb on the hull of the gigantic. The children in Group A were forced to play the known. Wow, sounds familiar. Sunk. You could have just told them this. No, no, no. It has to be real. It has to be real, though. Because but otherwise, we have to hide the evidence of our crime. For death situation. I guess. Hongo if this fails, you know, we gotta start playing play. Like, tapping into the fields. I mean, hilariously. They were so, already kidnapped. Seems dangerous enough. And, and, so you're either running with the idea of, oh, it has to be either real danger or perceived danger. The perceived danger can be solved by lying to the children. The real danger could be behind closed doors. You could tell the other investors, all right, if these kids don't show telepathic results, we're going to kill them, right? And we goes, yeah, all right. You don't have to, have to tell the kids. So I assume it's the perceived one, right? Yes. Or yes. I, they, they have to perceive. They have to perceive danger. that they're in danger. They, you know, they get into a flight or flight scenario. 
you could lie to the kids. Yeah. No, no, no. You, you could. You could. But, like, honestly, if we're going to go to all this trouble, we might as well do, go the whole nine yards, right? Might as well. Building, building Q duplicated the interior and puzzles of the gigantic exact. I feel like you could just have two buildings. No, 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 no. You don't get it. I spent all this money on this fucking boat. I put a bomb in the building. Just give gonna... them their final exam and uh, a final exam and tell them it's a hundred percent of their grade. There you go. Yeah, that's like that's yeah. all of law school. I want everyone to know. Yeah, kids have gotten into fight or flight anxiety inducing for situations much for much less than actual danger. Another flaw. The first round of the experiment was a success. Let's run it again for the scientific oh, process. Let's ready to jug. Oh wait. You could have just as easily told the children that a bomb's going off in the building. Mm -hmm. This is so dumb. No, 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 no. <laughs> he spent all this exactly money on this boat. Insane. You're right. Go explain the situation to the children in group Q. And it had to be a Titanic replica. Yes. For reasons. <laughs> what was the only large enough boat available? <laughs> was it? <laughs> yes, of course. Right, right. Oil tankers wouldn't work. No, 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 no. Had to be the Titanic. Had to be a Titanic replica for some reason. Solve the puzzles you find throughout Sorry the for all the creaking. When Michael's chair is really creaky. Transmit that yeah, for some bad. reason. Children Do you want my pillow? No, it's okay. I will give it to you. But well, we had a Titanic replica. If we didn't use it, we wouldn't get the tax right off. You're right. Yeah, it was a business see, expense. They will be able to solve the puzzles and escape. But if you fail, then the Gigantic will sink. And your brothers and sisters will drown. That's so silly. Man, yeah, put danger on both sides, I guess. I. Also, I love that this doesn't put any faith in the children on the boat that they could solve the puzzles on their own. Like, uh, what if they were just really good puzzle solvers? Right. Also, hold on, hold on, hold on. Okay. We might not finish tonight. We're um, saying that the kids in the building were the ones solving the puzzles. Yes. They're not in danger. Well, that's... Their I've... siblings are in danger. Yeah. That's completely different than being actually in danger. That's a sense of empathy. What if I hate my brother? Yeah, then I would just be like, I'm like, oh, man, man I, my parents will be mad or sad or whatever. Like, what the fuck? Another thing to remember, which I don't think is specifically mentioned, is that Ace's experiment in blowing up the Ninth Man implies that there were bombs implanted in all of the children. I don't know how the person with the money got enough yeah. money to make such a terrible He was in. Decision. He was all in. Maybe he just very well insured the boat. Yeah. He's like, all right, I'm going to make all my money back on that on that insurance cash out. We got this. And yeah, that's like, why they had to sink the boat, actually. Right. Because otherwise that man would have been broke and sued them. Yeah, they could have just burned a building down or whatever. Oh, my God. This is a terrible financial decision. Do you know for why sure. the astronauts of Apollo 13 were able to return to Earth safely? Let me guess. <laughs> More of a genetic it was field. because NASA had access to a replica of oh. the Apollo oh. 13. Oh, no, actually, okay. okay. That, no, this that's is, valid. This is actually very valid. All okay. The equipment, the instruments, everything. All of it identical. Uh -huh. Everything was just like the real Apollo 13. Uh -huh. NASA was able to replicate the situation. <laughs> this is where they he got the idea. Sure. By yeah, putting okay. themselves in the same situation, they attempted to solve the problems the astronauts were dealing with. Right, and the reason why it's better... <laughs> no, it was aliens. <laughs> ...because you had a bunch of scientists working on the problem rather than the four astronauts. You're putting the same amount of children in both in scenarios and been like, all right, these kids, they're going to solve it. Once they found solutions, they reported their findings to the men aboard the actual capsule. Th yeah, that makes the experiment even worse because the other kids could just Maybe be solving their Maybe we should have kidnapped their parents. That Maybe we should have done a child and a parent. Safely. Uh. It was the same with the gigantic and building cube. Luckily, we kidnapped extremely intelligent children. Honestly, the parent-children thing yeah. makes a lot well, of sense. We don't know if they have telepathy, though, so that might not work. Uh, you're right. The children from Group Q had to use the power of epiphany to solve the puzzles. Well, don't call it. It's not like a superpower. The power of epiphany, because you can't solve puzzles through any other means. And transmit what they learned through the fields. The children in group A, however, they had to access the fields to learn how they might advance to the next stage. That is the simplest explanation I can manage. So, they're not even trying, I'm sorry for the cracking, they're not even trying to 
somehow transfer this ability or create world domination at this point. They're just trying to prove that it, it works. Yeah. This is so dumb. The simplest explanation. Yeah. He's leaving a lot out. Yeah, apparently. He's leaving out a lot of things that would make it make sense. They could also, again, Occam's Razor, just have telepathy. Yeah. Just the two of them. Just, or each pair of them. Snake sounded defeated. Yeah, <laughs> me too, bro. His half-hearted attempt at derision only served only to show how much the story had affected him. Huh. Just as Junpei was about to speak. Hey! Junpei, You've stay. been up here for hours. How much hours. longer are you two gonna sit around on those bony asses? Get Thanks, Seven. Already. Seven's voice echoed up from below. Snake took a deep breath and blinked rapidly as if just waking up from a long nap. He's right. Let's go, shall we? But you didn't we tell me anything. We need... Snake headed for the stairs, but Junpei put out an arm to stop him. Hold it. There's one more thing I want to ask you. That was just one? Hmm? Are you sure that there were 18 kids? Why? Well, I thought it was only 16. I'm sorry. Oh, yes. That was what they said on the news, wasn't it? Why is this? That one is so creepy. Yeah, I don't know why. Yes. I have We're no in, doubt like, wooden that chairs, 18 basically. children were abducted and used in Hongo's experiment. That's actually the creaking. It's actually the boat creaking. Yeah, it's right? a, that we're trying it's, to give you some immersion. It's immersion. It's ambience. After ASMR. All, you couldn't exactly play a nonary game with any less, could you? Well, shit. You're telling me there's another group of nine people somewhere else doing the exact same puzzles we're doing? And we're I know. We didn't, we, didn't cl we didn't get into the morphogenetic field at all. Those assholes did not help us even a little bit. No. Uh, unless we're the ones supposed to be transmitting. <laughs> Thank you for saying the creaking works. Well, yeah, wait, are we the transmitters? Because we haven't been doing shit. Yeah, we haven't been doing a good job Are you that. saying that the news got it wrong? Yes, I am. What? There were two more children. Me and Clover. However, they had no relatives that I'm aware of. I imagine no one filed a police report when they went missing. Okay. They were brother and sister, like Clover and I. The brother's name was Aoi. The sister's name was... Her name was... <laughs> Nate couldn't seem to bring himself to continue. Look at what he was about to say brought him great pain. Her name was Akane. <gasps> Get! Oh, shit! That was the girl who died. Ba -na -ba -na. Ba -ba -ba. Oh, Acorn. no. Acorn. Jupiter felt as if he'd been punched in the stomach. His vision went blurry and his head felt light. Akane Kurashiki died nine years ago? No. <laughs> Who's Jupiter? A bootstrap paradox, of course. Oh, shit. No. <laughs> That's impossible. Are you saying all this out loud? It can't be true. Isn't that uncommon of a name? What was, what was her last name? Akari! Ah. <laughs> that's that's not. <laughs> I'm get, he's getting the Akira moment right yeah. now. It's like, no! no! Get out of my head! No! Ah! Ah! Oh, that would be different. So they share a name. A lot of other people do too. It doesn't mean anything. There was someone else. Of course it was. Haven't we already that's heard? Story the name Owie before? I that's not the first time we're hearing it. Um I'm pretty I sure think else that Seven mentioned that name when he was talking about the kids okay. that were kidnapped. Okay. That makes sense. <laughs> Jubei shook his head hard and pulled himself back to reality. You tell me there's two acorns? Is something wrong, Junpei? Your <laughs> breathing sounds strange. That snake had no then Snake had noticed. Obviously, I started screaming. Jubei cleared his throat and tried to act calm. He went, ah! oh, uh, no, 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 I'm good. <laughs> Let's get back down there, all right? Ugh. Snake raised an eyebrow but said nothing. He headed down the stairs, Junpei bringing up the rear. I, I just thought something terrible. <laughs> How can you have noticed he can't see? <laughs> <laughs> there's something wrong with your facial expression. That's why I said there's something wrong with your breathing. <laughs> yeah, I know. But for some reason, I thought, like, it'd be really fun if Jupiter just goes, oh! like, but, you know, without actually saying anything, like, his face freaking yeah, the hell like, out. Yeah, it's like, are you good? And it's like, oh, you're breathing funny. And it's like, oh, no, I got the hiccups. Let's go. Yeah, no, I'm good. I'm good. <sighs> uh, I couldn't do it. Why didn't I ask? What's her last name? I just couldn't get the words Because you're a pussy, Junpei. You're a big pussy. It's Kimberly. <laughs> With every step he took, the cold hard sound of feet against metal dug at his heart. 
Well, are you all barefoot or something? <laughs> no, it's because it's on the stair. They're going down the stairs. Feet against metal. It'd be like shoes against well, metal. Well, go ahead and continue solving the room. Anyway, Sheldrake. Do you think Seven and Clover did anything while we were down here? No, they didn't do a goddamn no, thing. Of course not. Iron plate bolted down. It's just a wall. Sure. Fox. Uh, Sheldrake, this is it. Did, did, did you guys just like hang out down here and not do anything? But didn't it say five at the end of the shot? Did you guys do that's, anything? That's the one I just clicked, guys. Well, it, it did the whole thing. I think we need to find the fifth vault, guys. Really, oh we did it. Oh God. my God, there's a button. You're telling me I could have just taken all these books off the shelves and found That would have taken way too long. That would have taken 20 seconds. Just knock everything off. I guess we should press the button. Oh, fuck. Wow. Ooh. That was pretty slick. What was that sound? Sound like something really big was moving. I thought the book was gonna be hollowed out and there's gonna be a key in it. I'm like, okay, yeah, that makes sense. That would take way too long to look through all of the books and find the yeah. key. A button behind a book though. You didn't know to take it off. It came from the top, top floor. floor. All right, let's go check it out. I mean, with these shelves, the first thing you'd want to do is start- Just knock these knocking off. Knocking them off, rearranging them, looking at them and whatever. Look at them. So all right, obviously All right, back sus. upstairs. We don't, don't have, have time, time for, for books right now. We don't have time to read. Nope, wrong door. Yep. There it is. Ooh. Ooh. Oh, God, do you know your Roman numeral? Well, I know the second one, that's for sure. 13, 14, 10, 13? Is that? Yeah. All right. Okay. Door. Yeah, Big metal door. Handle in the middle of it, though. Don't touch it, though. Come on, open. No. Nah! It worked. Nothing. I might as well try to open a wall. I know you're feeling kind of rushed, but you do realize it's pointless, don't you? It's not going to get you anywhere. There's only one thing we can do. Let's go. All right, fine. Try this one, though. All right, this handle's going to be open the door for me. Ah! Oh, seven strikes you. Ah! Man, it doesn't matter how hard we pull, it's not going anywhere. Probably should push. It's probably locked. Fine. There's a keyboard from the numbers. There's four of the sort. 13, 14, 10, 13. Roman numerals. I think we just need to put in the numbers from the wall on the keyboard. No. Oh. I'm oh, sorry. No, you can't. The, key key oh, the, the keyboard doesn't have any number keys. You can't type in stuff like three or four. Hmm. Let's type in X, I, I, I. Yeah, let's just type in exactly what's up there. That means. I bet you gotta type in something on the keyboard. Yeah, we can only enter letters. Yeah, it looks like you only enter four letters. Hmm, see how it works. Guess you gotta hit enter. All right. Four. All right, do it. Wow. All right. Yay. I'm gonna be honest, I didn't uh, take the time to figure it out. I was just like, just I'm just gonna assume, write dead. Just assumed it was like, dead. These two, are, these two are the same and that's an A, dead. <laughs> you did it. It's unlocked now. Good job, Junpei. I couldn't see what you did at all. Oh, don't get too excited. The password was dead, remember? Which makes me think whatever's waiting for us isn't good. No, that means the next thing is gonna be red. So, a boy in a library. Jeez, you're such an old lady. You can't be worrying about stuff like that. I mean, come on, we got it to unlock, didn't we? Let's go, hurry up. We gotta be positive now. All right, let's get this thing open. Hang on, wait, hang on. Oh, oh, oh. You, oh. you found, you found it. found it, yeah. That might be the last I found one. It. The door opened, and Junpei and the others leapt through it. I'm so happy that I found it. All right, this is the next. Just as Seven was about to finish the sentence, their attention was drawn to the clang of metal on metal ringing out behind them. Well, I'm glad I didn't try the other door. Oh, the door. Oh, shit. Is there another room? Let's look at the door. Oh, my God. There's another room. Oh, shit. I forgot about this room, too. God damn it. The door they just come through and slam shut. I literally forgot about this room until I just saw the sides. Is that sad? Listen, I don't remember this game as well as the others. Because I played this back when it came out, and that was pretty much it. 
too big. Grab pull the door. Oh, pulled he pulled it. He pulled the door. the door. It looks like it locks automatically. He only has nine strength. Yeah. Is there any other way out? Well. Oh, I forgot about this fucking room. The there's a card reader next to it. I didn't realize this was like a weird shitty mirror or whatever. And I was like, wow, there's a bunch of like see-through objects. Yeah, what? <laughs> It's We're losing it. it, though, so I'm pretty sure it's locked too. But there is a card reader, right? Yeah. Then perhaps if we find a key card, we could open the door and leave. Well, yeah, that might work, but. <laughs> uh, hey. Wait a minute. Are you saying we're gonna have to search through this room for one little card? Oh man. It took a second look at the room they found themselves in. It's not that big. Yeah, but there's so much shit. It was filled with piles upon piles of all manner of things. The only word that could describe it was chaotic. It was like a tornado had passed through, followed by a giant who'd picked up and shaken the entire room a few times. I do appreciate all the components for the deads and reds in here. Like yeah, and just the puzzles the too. Puzzle like there's pieces. the heads yeah. and the mannequins. You've got many keyboards. You've got lots of dial pads and number pads in here. I, I just the puzzle workshop. Yeah, I actually do appreciate that because in lots of, you know, game uh, games that have some sort of like we put all this nonsense together you're like where did you get all that bullshit at least here it's like oh yeah here's somebody i'll put it together <sighs> looks that way give me his heart fell no way for real for real for real clover and seven looked as though they were about to cry for you well, gee you sit down and wait to die if that's what you prefer the boat is creaking i'd rather Hurry. Doubt that, however. so it would be wise to start looking we haven't much time. Well, Let's you can't see how shitty this room looks. <laughs> yeah, easy for you to say. You're not going to be helping. Oh, and the Neptune key as well. We won't be able to get through the hallway without it. <sighs> <sighs> All right, then. Let's begin. No puzzle. Just looking for shit. I literally just fucking forgot that this room existed. <laughs> you good? Yeah. I like nine strength, nine whiz, nine int. The study. This, this is chaotic as hell. Piles of crap everywhere. Man, this place sucks. It's so messy. I don't know where to start. This crap looks familiar. I think a lot of these are parts of the puzzles we've solved in the other rooms. If that's true, then this room could be Zero's laboratory. Rob Zero would shut himself in this room to devise the machines and puzzles he'd need to see his plan come to fruition. They, or she, hey. might have been, uh, doing lots of science in here. Junk. Nothing okay, useful. Okay, I don't want Well, that. I'm glad we searched through all that instantly. Oh, like the map! Right. Hey, Junpei, isn't this a nautical table? Yeah, I've seen it before. Thanks. Took it. Great. A ruler. A light. It's a little arm on it. Cute. Cute. Wow, I can't click this. Or it could be the storage closet that Zero forgot about. <laughs> There's some old computer monitors on this desk. You don't see CRT monitors that much anymore. Except in Smash Bros. tournaments. Yeah. Um, uh, fans. I think these fans are for ventilation. It's probably there to circulate air. No, is this, the room, is this the room with the pipe? Uh, steel cabinet with the double door. A pipe. pipe. Great. Wait, keep, it is the room keep with clicking the pipe. on the pipe. Damn, okay, maybe it's from a different angle, or maybe I'm thinking of a different room. I remember a pipe joke somewhere. Maybe it's this pipe? That's a pipe. There's a cabinet underneath it. There's a cabinet on the pipe. Damn, where's the- is that- is it in here? Oh, what's this? This paper. What do you found in there, Junpei? Sudoku. Looks like someone's working on a solution. Oh, it's you, sorry. And some handwriting on it. Let me know what that is. <laughs> uh, it's in this room? Okay. Just clear out all the pipes a lot. Uh, uh, I think it was, uh, nine, no, let's get to the next one. Uh, this one, the nine panel cross oh, puzzle. Did I already do this? Just found the filing cabinets. It says first draft was probably approved upon in a second draft and then a third. Oh no. Oh no. Sudoku. Your favorite puzzle. No, this is, this is a magic square, right? Oh, you're right. Yeah. Well, but there's no diagonals. That's true. So, I guess this is, a. Uh... Do not oh do not calculate the areas that are colored in so it's magic square light because oh weird yeah so nine not yeah weird right, cool we'll figure it out bizarre whole bunch of drawers in here cool done I'm not gonna look at the rest oh 
control panel in front of a big screen here. I wonder if any of these buttons do anything. Ah! Oh, oh no! It's on the screen now. What is this? 15 cells. Numbers and letters in them. Let me see that. Oh, I see. Whenever you touch a cell, the one next to it turns on or off. You just gotta use that to make the all cells on the right and bottom green. Alright. Hey, Jimby, I found this piece of paper under that thing. You wanna take a look at it? Do you think I have something to do with the puzzle? Piece of paper. A bunch of numbers and symbols. Comes by an equal sign. Just like she said, it's probably related to the puzzle somehow. Thanks, Clover. This really helps. Yeah, thanks. I know. Alright, let's try again. You need to make all the all cells green. What the hell am I... If you click hint, it might show you the... Oh, okay, yeah. That's fine. So you're just using... So it has to equal... Right, right, right. So I have to have... Let me just turn all of them off. Yeah, okay. So, you do that. I mean, I can. Um, Zero over the loudspeaker, remembering how this went last time. Uh-oh, you know what? Let me help you out with this one. Yeah. I left you a piece of paper under the desk. I know there is a way. I have got close, but there is a way to turn all of them off. Um... So this one just needs all three that of them. That needs up. all of them to be on. Um, so I need all three of those on. This one just needs these two. So just, I'm trying to figure out which ones I need on. This one just needs these it. two. The, the, the bottom. Oh, I guess I could just do the math to figure it out. Yeah, um, you could. So, oh, so the L's need, so this one's all, this one I think is all as well. This one's not all of them, though, so I probably need to turn the Yeah, F, off. F and B is a lot. So this so. needs to be dark. On, 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 on. These two are on, that one's That dark. one's off, so yeah. these two need to be dark as well as the, oh, no, sorry. No, that one, one needs to be on. These two are dark? Those two are dark, I think. Okay. Oh, good job, you did it. You did it, Junpei! I just need to figure that out first. <laughs> You're so smart! You seem to have done an excellent job and solved the puzzle I wouldn't know, I didn't see it. Yeah, I can't see it. Just what I would have expected. I thought he was gonna say, just what I would have done, and I'm like, no. Hey, come on, you're embarrassing me, guys. Whoa, whoa, don't get cocky, kid. We don't got time for that. Look at this. Check out the right edge of the control panel. The lid slid open, some came out. Oh, the Templars. A plus sign. Sick. Bye. Alright. Oh, it's part of the machine. It's really dimly lit. So, got a map of the world. Don't yep. worry. Maybe I can barely see it. We have it. Let me compare them. I need to turn the device according to the instructions. The nautical. Are problem. you ready for puzzle to read us? Uh. You need, I think you're gonna need the map, though, yeah, right? Can I? Looks like there's a compass on there. Ah, uh, now I get it. What do you mean? Guess you weren't there, but I saw the puzzle like this in the wheelhouse. I think I need to do the same thing here. Same thing. The important part is the nautical symbol we just found. I have to match up the directions of the compass with the lines of the nautical table. The steering wheel in the wheelhouse, but this time I'm getting the steering wheel attached to the side here. Okay, then show me now. Of course. Maybe I'll run through the instructions. Just in case you Looks forgot. Like the same way. You got to stop. Let's point where I want to. Let's do this. I think at the hint will probably give you the. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So where are we starting? We're starting in London. London. Yeah. So south. South. South west. South east. east. Okay. So let's just do that first. South. I hit stop. Right. You didn't. So you have to do it. You have to do you have to it. Do early. it. Do it early. Okay. It takes a while to stop, you know. Hit it after south. Stop. All right, south. south. And then it's west. West. Okay. They couldn't have done this any better. Well, you could have gone the other way. That's uh, what I'm saying is I can't just click the buttons. <laughs> No, we have to spin south, it. South, west, south, east. So that's this way. North, 
west. Northwest. No, wait. Yes. Or no, northeast. northeast. Sorry. Yeah. I shouldn't be helping you. That's okay. I'm bad at directions. We all know that. Northeast, then full east. Great. North. Uh, then just straight Do that one. And then east. East, yeah. I did it. You set off a fire alarm. You did it, Junpei. Good boy. Who's a good boy? Ah, knock it off. We don't have time for screwing around right now. Seven's like, Jesus Christ. Yeah. Check out the right side of the monitor. It just kind of slid open. Some came out. Oh, yeah. I heard a noise, too. You know the big box in the hall by the exit? I think it made a noise. Like, something unlocking, you know? A noise, huh? Oh, uh, hell You're no. You're collecting man. trophies. Hell, yeah. No play like a shield. It's got a wheel on it. Cute. Sick. More games. Whoa. Uh -oh. Morse screen. code. Oh, wait a minute. It's something like this. We'll figure out the Morse code. Yeah. I kind of do appreciate the puzzled redux room. Yeah. The greatest hit. Right, I'll try. Before I do that, though, I'll run, run through the instructions. Check. I just tap didn't, it. Didn't, uh... Wait. I didn't remember what it was. I did it. What are, you, what are we talking about? Hmm. Wait. Uh, oh, can we not see it again? Not, it was literally two, four, one, wasn't it? Did you do one on the bottom? Oh, apparently not. Did can I... you can you look at the screen again? Maybe it's in like files or something. Oh, it didn't say it got added to files. Wait, can you click on the screen? I, I tried and it dropped, no. brought me into the same thing. But oh god, what do we do? Just gonna leave. Maybe, right, so... maybe we'll come back. I don't think it was. It didn't give you anything. Uh... No, it didn't give you anything. Oh. Okay, maybe if you back away, maybe do it again. No. What do we do? Wait. It's not it's not there anymore. Oh. Um Help? Is the like actual code somewhere around here? I don't know. Oh, you need four of those. Okay. Oh, look at that. Oh god. Oh fuck, I remember this puzzle. Um Alright, lots of rules. When you touch the numbered area, that area will be selected and turn blue to indicate this. Touching a numbered ball, I have to select the arrow cause the I thought you did what it said. Yeah, what if... I thought so too. Uh how you cannot move the red balls. Because it's nine! You can only move the three and five balls to a single area. This check button lets you move all the balls except for the red ones, which you cannot move. Digital rule the balls must match the number for that area. That's it. Okay. Practice makes prefects, is what he said. Great, yeah. Let's see you solve the next one. Yeah, then you can make fun of me. Alright, fine. Um, we need six and three. This one. Uh, so that's 10. That's 11. Yeah. Good job. You did cool. it. This is it. Nothing's that's happening. That. There's still three more indentations left empty. Imagine something will happen when they're all filled. Doesn't that seem likely? That's great. Oh. Sick. Some just showed up. Puzzle like the last one. Yeah, there's more of those red balls. Numbers for each area are different too. It's like got the same rules as the last one though. So you don't want to double check that? No, I'm fine. Get confused, I'll just look at the screen over there. Picture's worth a thousand wards! <laughs> Isn't that a picture's worth a thousand wards? Hey, shut up. At least I'm trying, alright? Love them. Alright, so don't have the one this time, so. Let's start with seven. Uh. So, seven, two. Good job. It's awesome, Junpei. There's only two left now. You can do it. Alright, now we're gonna go find the other two. Right. Alright, what the hell are we supposed to do with that Morse code puzzle? No, the door is pretty sturdy. It's framed with back, uh, black and yellow warning stripes. Let's open. Oh! Holy shit! It's pretty damn creepy. Do you see what it says it's on it? It's all ice! It's a coffin in there. Coffin, a coffin. Oh it's man, seven thing. Is all pale. Yeah, it's all pale. It's thinking the same thing I am. No way, could this be? I'm sorry, but what's going on? 
It's a cloven! I wonder if there's a vampire in it. Right, I guess the cloven snake don't know the story. Can't bring myself to tell him. At any rate, let's have a look around. No plaque in the coffin. Snake's touching it. All ice. Ah, the two machines. Holy shit. Man, this is serious. Oh well, let's open it, shall we? Clover, if you could give me a hand. Okay, I got it! They get the curse of the mummy and just... Mm, hope he's perfect. Yeah, it just melts their faces. Ready? Three, two, one. Ha! Uh, no luck, it doesn't seem to be ready to open. The coffin's creaking. <laughs> yeah, but it's not like it's screwed shut or something. Yes, I believe it's locked in some other way. Hey, Seven, you think you could open up with your superhuman strain? <laughs> no, oh, I... I can't use my superpowers on mummies. I, I think I'll just pass on this one, okay? What the heck? Very well, we'll just have to give up on the coffin for now. Let's look around the room a little more, shall we? Al sleeps in a small chamber past the force of knowledge beneath the navel of the gigantic. Is that actually true? Damn, I don't know. Oh, a coffin. No lock on it. Well. Well, fuck that, I guess. Oh, that shit, I guess. Wait, uh, maybe that pipe. Oh, okay, wait, what's that? Something around this piece of paper. Three sheets of this stuff. Oh, what is that? Uh, maybe we need that. Wait, wait, click on the pipes here. A pipe. A pipe. Ah, the pipe. Click on it again. Pipe. Three pipes here. Give me a P. Give me an I. Give me a P and an E. What's that spell? Pipe. What the hell are we doing? What the hell are we doing? <laughs> Is that what you're looking for? Yes, I fucking love that. It's such a meme. That spell? Pipe. Pipe. What are we doing? What are we doing here? Okay. Um, What's that spell? Oh, there's more. Oh, wait. Most code chart. Okay. Yeah. Most code chart. Got it. The shelf. No. Oh, so that was to tell me I had two, four, one total spaces. Yes. Um. Oh, I see. Okay. Right? Snake does not know how cheerleading works. He took both letters. Okay. So, I don't know what I'm supposed to say. Wait, wait, there's more. G to R. Maybe we have to know it. Well, it would be I H E. That's not that Well, that's not. That's not helpful. That's not helpful. Uh, okay. What's happening? Maybe, maybe now it'll let us do it, though, because. Oh, okay. you're getting a call. Hold on. That's Michael's phone. Have they figured out where it's supposed to enter here? No. Ah. Uh, or maybe you're supposed to spell by. I mean, maybe. I don't know. Guys, why did I forget this room exists? Like, I have no idea. TBH, we might not finish tonight now because we went off on such a wild diatribe about uh about the the experiment. <laughs> I know I've been promising the finale for like a while, but maybe maybe if he agrees, if we don't finish tonight, maybe we could finish on Wednesday. We'll see. If I can talk him into doing too. Hang on, I think he might come back soon. Mm, maybe not. This is how it is. <laughs> this is kind of what both of our lives are like, because, you know, we make our own hours, but we're never off the clock. Like, people can call us at any time. Oh, he's coming back. Hello. Hello. Are you good? Yes. Okay. Snake wants to know if you figured out where you're supposed to enter here, and I, I no. I mean, no. A three letter word, I guess. I thought it was gonna it was gonna be uh red. Yeah. The other side of it. Red. Uh, uh SOS. I said the word that's supposed to go here is three letters. It's got three lines. Each line's one letter. Uh-huh. The letters you need are made up of two symbols, four symbols, and one symbol response. Oh, do we really have to figure it out? What? S we have to figure out what the word is? What symbols? From, like, the Morse code symbols, dots and dashes. Oh, so it's just a process of elimination? Yeah, we just need to figure out, isn't that what you just said? One line has two spaces, the next four, and the last one only a single space. I mean, yeah. I see. So 
in other words, I gotta enter either dots or dashes instead of two, then four, then one. Yeah, okay. Yes, well, so it's seen. Yeah, I, okay, I well, understand uh, how to do it, but I still don't know what the number is. The, or the word. The word we is. have to figure out a... Oh, good, they give us these now. Okay. Am so, I supposed to intuit it based on yes, what? Yes, what actually makes a word. Okay, fine. Oh, I think I know what it is. Let's do ice. Yeah, I think it's ice. <laughs> That's a word, and it all conveniently happened to be on one page. Wow. I, I see. It seems you've solved the puzzle, Junpei. <laughs> Are you good? Do you, need very to do you need to do something for work? Uh, I'm okay. I, was, I just had a forward email. They can't tell, though. Yeah. Excellent work. The answer was ice, obviously, because I heard you do dude it. Uh, how'd you know? All I had to do was listen to the sounds the machine made. After that, it was a trivial matter to decode them. Ah, yes. I believe I heard a noise from somewhere on the right of the device after you solved the puzzle. It sounded rather like something sliding open. Do you see anything that could have made that noise? All right, Daredevil. Yes, that's true. I honestly hear it as Daredevil. Yeah. Ah, yes, one more thing. I heard a sound from behind the shutter. Perhaps the coffin is unlocked now. What? No! Code emblem. Sick. Wow, it's got a code. Hello? Queen? Alright, let's open it. You can do this, Junpei. It's just a box. Just a box. Holy shit, there's a coffin. It's gonna be so horrible. <laughs> I love him. Uh, okay, deep breath. Deep breath. A gun. Oh. Oh. <laughs> oh man, there's nobody in there. Shit, I can't believe I was scared of something like that. What do you mean, nobody? Were you expecting somebody to be in there? Yeah, it's a long it's story. It's a long story. Ask Junpei about it sometime. Just like, oh, it's you. Well, just like Seven says, no one in there. Something in there, though. Two somethings, actually. What is that? Oh. Uh, what? Uh, uh, no, what? I thought it would I, be like down. Yeah, no, I, down. I did too. Wait. Something down the bottom. There okay. we go. Oh, hey, the key we were looking yeah. for. Yeah. Play if I could play with them. And the Neptune key! Hooray. Yeah, we finally found it. Now we can get through the hallway. That's correct, Clover. But we do need to get out of the room first. Yeah, I know. Okay, let's get the hell out of here. No objections. We got it. Huzzah. It's cute. It's branded. Coffin emblem. Waffle. Waffle pattern. Pat. Looks like the coffin lid. All right. All right the, yeah, put, put him in. Right. Yep. All right, cool. Yep, yep. It's fine. Uh, if you can think of anything clever, please don't strain yourself. You might hurt something. Shut up. Give me a break, right? I'll think of something. <laughs> I love them. Seven. Ooh, seven, seven. seven. Alright. Uh, Let's see. So... You need 16. Mm -hmm. Probably. Or, or seven. But I don't think you can even get seven. Uh, so... so let's see. Do those two there. Okay, let me just do like seven plus these two, and then these three. Yeah. Excellent work, Junpei. You've only got one left. I can see the light at the end of the tunnel. Not literally, because I'm blind. <laughs> so I'm just gonna put the emblem of the coffin into this indentation. Oh I'm so surprised. God. Fourth one. This puzzle looks a lot like the last couple. Yep, Once we one. solve this puzzle, I'm sure something will happen. All right, I'll solve it in no time. Eight and nine. Oh my god, nine. Nine, nine, nine. That's seventeen. What are we? Oh wait. What? 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 Wait. No. You can't. That's nine. You can't do it. That's. Cause you. This combination will not open the door. What are we talking about? Well, you know, don't you need three? I can't Isn't it move three these. to five people? Yeah, I know. Weird. Is that the same thing I just did? Yeah, I think so. Okay. Okay. 
And that note comes out. <laughs> I'm at the keyboard. Fuck you. Way to go, Junpei. You answered all the questions. Damn, Junpei, good job. Did you hear some of that? So were those the if a character is dead roots? Mm, I and think the different so. door combinations? I think so. Um, I wasn't paying attention to which. Yeah, I, I was trying red. to pay attention and then I stopped paying attention because I got distracted by the Morse code thing. Yes, I heard that as well. From the bottom left corner of the desk, I believe. A picture. In the drawer was a single picture. He picked it up. It was a photograph of four men. What the? Oh my god. Having a great time. It's the ninth man. Who's that guy? And Wario. Also, uh... That guy. That guy. Involuntarily, Junpei's eyebrows shot up. He'd seen three of them before. Am I supposed to recognize one of these? You could. Maybe. Is this Santa? No. No, it's not. Uh, is it one of the people in the game? No. No. This is you not. You might be looking at the wrong guy. This guy. Oh, the dead, the dead captain man. Okay. What the hell is this? This man with a mustache on the right. He's the same guy yeah, who found okay. Munich in the captain's quarters. He had the zero bracelet on his left arm. And this second man with the glasses and the doctor's coat. He's the ninth man. The one with bracelet number nine. He died after he went in the door five. But this That's guy, probably I'm supposed to figure out that he's the, the science one. one. Sorry. Right. <laughs> Fuck that guy. Man. Zoom in. That's Ace. Yeah. Looks great. Yes, it is. No doubt about it. Some doubt. Then that Glover had come to peer over Junpei's shoulders. I mean, I don't know. He doesn't wear a hat now. Yeah, that's but, true. What does it mean? What is Ace doing in this picture? Not only Ace, the ninth man and Cap, too. As Junpei looked closer, he noticed the expression on each man's face. Their smile suggested they were close, at least, to some degree. And they look happy. Like they knew each other well. I don't know. Why? I drink wine like with people how? I don't like all the time. We were on the sinking ship, too. Yeah, well, we got off beforehand, obviously. In the world are these four men connected? Come world on. domination! Ha <laughs> ha! Snake's voice broke into Junpei's thoughts. You say Ace is in that picture? Yeah. I can't see. It doesn't look like it was taken recently, though. I can't see. I cannot. Uh, uh, I don't know. I can't recognize faces, so. Yeah. <laughs> Ace, the ninth man, and Cap all look about ten years younger. Ah, so the ninth man and the man you found murdered in the captain's quarters are also in the picture? Oh, oh no, that's so sad, same way. No. Uh. Is there anyone else? Or are there only three people in the picture? I'm afraid I can't see it. <laughs> Just needs to remind you. Oh my god. No, there's one more guy. He's got kind of long hair. This guy. Well, this was, this was man number two then, who got murdered or whatever. He's the only one I don't recognize. Yeah, he's the dude that Ace threw through the door and exploded. Hmm. Think knit his eyebrows. What's the date of the photograph? It doesn't have one. Did you look on the back? Back. Oh yes, shit, it has a the back. Reverse. The other side. Do we flip the picture over? Huh. Good night, segue. I mean, honestly, I'm not sure we're gonna finish. We might need to stop soon because we need to eat food. Yeah. So, but do you think, um, would you want to do this with me again on Wednesday instead of me streaming Baldur's Gate? Or are you are you out on Wednesday? Um, I'm trying to think what I'm doing Wednesday. Tuesday, I yeah, you know, we got stuff. On Tuesday we got stuff, so we can't do Tuesday. Um. You busy Wednesday? No, I think I could be doing. I, I could. could do we could do. We could try and finish it off instead of me playing Baldur's Gate. Okay. Well, let's at least finish this because I mean the yeah, last part is going to be a ton of exposition. Certainly significant. He read it out loud so that Snake would not be left in the dark. Train for but... the success of the Nonary Project with Nijisaki, Kubota, and Musashido. Oh, I figure we'll we'll get out of this room and then we'll probably stop and then. Uh, then we can finish it off on Wednesday. Let's do that. <sighs> you made me really flip the picture back over. Then the four men in this picture were the organizers of the Nonary game nine years ago. Oh, right, because 
we, I guess, Junpei didn't have that no, weird he didn't have the weird silhouetted mind palace. mind palace picture. Yeah. Since Hongo wasn't mentioned, Junpei figured that could only mean he'd written the words on the back himself. That means okay. Ace, the Ninth Man, and Cap were all responsible for making it happen. And to that other guy. I feel like I should be more shocked about this. It's almost as if that's just how things were always supposed to be. The true identities did not come as a surprise, is what Junpei found most surprising. Why? Why am I not surprised? It's because I knew all along. Through telepathy with da, my da, other da. self. Ace was the one in charge of the Nonary Project. But why? Why am I so calm? It's like I already knew. <gasps> ah, did you? Of course. I understand now. Junpei looked over at Snake. In his own confusion, he missed the dark look on the other man's face. Ace was the CEO of Cradle Pharmaceuticals. He was the one who invented the game nine minutes I don't think ago. anyone's talked about that He yet. was Gintaro Hongo. On this no. route. Oh, on this route. On this route. Yes. Nobody no. has mentioned that. Yes. Because you didn't go through, you didn't go through the, uh, the room with Santa and Ace where Santa told you that. Right. You went through the captain's quarters and the other room. Right. Not, not the, uh, cargo hold. Right. Ace is Hongo? Yeah, so nobody said that. Even as he asked, Junpei felt as though he'd already known. Almost as if someone had whispered into his head that yes, of course Ace was Hongo. I had my suspicions from the beginning. Their voices were similar. Too similar to be a coincidence. I could never forget his voice. It was the voice of the devil. But is the devil objectively real, sure. or...? After all, I had no way to check. I certainly couldn't ask him. Even if I had known, however, I would never have told him. Zero made it quite clear what would have happened if I did. Oh my gosh, I had no idea. Huh? I didn't know that Ace was Hongo. Oh, yes. I suppose you wouldn't have. Nine years ago, you were in Building Q in Nevada, but Hongo was in the Gigantic with us. I know. That's why I didn't know what Hongo looked like. Great, we had to explain that for the player. But well, he did already say they were split up, so... Right. I mean, I'm your sister, right? He could have told me. I'm sorry. I apologize My for bad. keeping this from you. But if I'd told you, Clover, I would have told everyone else. I know, you're a gossip. Like a smart person, telling everyone else that he's a weird serial killer in this murder game would have been... Probably helpful. A terrible thing to and do. you did then I would have been forced to tell them about what happened nine years no, ago. No, you could just refuse to elaborate. Yeah, just like, I'm sorry, I'm under orders from Zero not to discuss any further. And then everyone would be like... And it's like, really? It's like, yeah, I got a note that said if I talked, my sister would die. But does that count because, as talking? No, because the thing was, if you talk about the thing nine years ago, your sister dies. Telling people that you can't talk about something or else your sister dies is not included in that instruction. Probably not. Yeah. But you are dealing with an insane person. Kind of with zero, so yeah. take some creative liberties. Yeah. I had to prevent that. <sighs> Clover and Snake's conversation wasn't of particular interest to Junpei. He's bored as fuck. It was boring. He still couldn't make sense out of his strange feelings of knowledge. He's trying to organize his thoughts when he heard Seven's voice. Again, we're kind of going against the idea of some people are receivers and some people are transmitters if you're able to send thoughts to yourself. Unless someone else is. No one else is sending me thoughts. Are we saying someone else is sending me thoughts? You don't know where you're getting them. Oh, I thought we were getting it from the other timeline. You could where be I getting it from the other things. timeline. Yeah. Which hey, again, Jim, you think I could borrow that picture for a sec? Intertemporal, you know, information communication <laughs> Wait. is not what we're discussing in this game. Yeah, you can sure. borrow it. It's not mine. He had no reason to say no, so Junpei handed the picture over. So am I getting this information from someone on the boat type thing or something along those lines? Seven stared at the picture and began to mutter the four name of the project's leaders over and over to himself. Hongo, Kubota, Michisaki, Musashido. His brow was furrowed and his face was flushed. Hongo, Kubota, Michisaki, Musashido. Maybe one more time? He chanted their names to himself, pacing back and forth across the floor. Hongo Kubota Nijisaki Musashiro. 
is casting a spell. I know, I was going to say, it does kind of sound like an incantation. Seven shouldn't have known their names. After all, he hadn't been there when Junpei and Snake had spoken of them in the library. But as Junpei watched him pace, it was clear that he did know hey, them. Seven, do you? Shut it. Just, just be quiet. His eyes were red, and Junpei could see sweat beginning to bead on his forehead. This isn't the timeline where he remembers to cop, right? Yeah, I don't think he's I'm remembered this that close yet. close to remembering. This close. Or I think he might have remembered some, but not everything. Okay. Because I think this is the timeline where you had the discussion in the lab with Lotus. Okay. Hongo. Again, that middle area is where I get confused. No, wait, no, it's definitely not. I don't think you've had a conversation with him about this yet. Then he stopped. Seven set down the pitcher and looked at the red light near his feet. His eyes narrowed. Then suddenly his eyes went wide and he shot up straight. Shit. What? What's wrong? Holy shit, this is nuts. Um, what's this is nuts? nuts? I remember. Remember what? Everything. Everything? Indeed. Everything. Yeah, I, I remember all of it. My memory's back. It's because he saw faces. I remember what right. happened before I got snatched. Seven's voice was filled with excitement. What? Shock and excitement had frozen Junpei in place along with Snake and Clover. <sighs> Let me tell you what happened. Okay. Seven hastily drew a shaking hand across his mouth and began to speak. Like Snake said, Ace is Hongo from the right. The other three are Musashido, Nijisaki, and Kubota. Thanks. Musashido was the man with the To be cash. fair, they weren't labeled. Nijisaki was Hongo's right-hand man. And Kubota developed the actual technical details of the experiments. Realization began to dawn on Junpei along with a pressing question. How do you know all this? Come on, man. I told you. I finally got my memory back. No, that's Keep not up. Right. I'm trying to ask you why you knew all this stuff in the first place, before you forgot it. Seven rubbed the scar on his chin. You really want to know? Of course. I'm Me asking. Too. Snake was the only one who didn't voice any sort of agreement. Wouldn't she remember, or wouldn't Snake remember him in well, that case? Maybe that's not, he hasn't said anything. Hmm. It looked at Junpei as if he was simply waiting to see where Seven's sudden recovery might take them. Yeah, this is going to take a while. Hell, it'll probably take a few three days to take. Not nine days. Well, we don't have three days. <laughs> Just give us the short version. Speed it up. Short version, huh? All right, you can tell me when you're ready, and we can we can stop forever. But okay, I was tr I forgot this conversation happens before you get out of the room. Okay. We've been going for almost two hours. Yeah. Can we? Uh... Like, are we almost done? Is this the final conversation, or is there gonna be like a lot more after this? I think. Well, this isn't the end of the game. Right. Let me look at a walk through. So I think we just have this and then the last thing. Just trying to figure out where the best place is. Like, are we halfway there? I mean, this is the start of his Again, story. clearly That's I've demonstrated thing. that I do not have a good memory of this game. Right. I remember I remember VLR really well. Because I've walked multiple like I've walked people through that game. I remember Zero Time Dilemma, like not at all. Right. I probably might replay that on my own before you and I play it together. Is that the third one or the second That's one? the third one. The second one I remember really well. Because you recently watched a playthrough of it, right? Yes. Um. So this is like probably the last thing in this room. And okay. then we just have... Um, the final puzzles. Oh, there's more puzzles a after that? Yeah, there's not a whole room after this, but okay. there are, is more plot and puzzles. Okay, so we should probably stop here, then. Yeah, as long as we think we're gonna remember. Oh. Don't, that's not how you stop. All right, I lied. We didn't finish the game, and I think it's mostly because we got really sidetracked about the experiment, but also because I completely forgot this room existed. Um. In retrospect, I don't know how I forgot this room because I'm pretty sure in most Zero Escape games there's like a puzzle redux type right, room. Right. So obviously the library was not that, so I probably should have remembered that there was another room. Right. But it's fine. <laughs> but we'll do it on Wednesday. We'll finish it on Wednesday. Screw yes. Baldur's Gate. We're going to finish the game on Wednesday, no matter what happens. We're going to finish it. Can I get you to agree to that? Yes. We're going to finish it on Wednesday. Sounds I'm good. really hungry. Um, <laughs> okay, we're gonna go get food now. Okay, wait a sec. Here, give me give me my mouse back. Do we have a raid message and or someone to raid? I feel like there was some good shit tonight, but I don't... 
I mean, I I rant. Wait, did you for, save? Okay, uh, yeah. yes. I ranted for a significant amount. Yeah, of time. so I don't know. Oh sure shit! Which, uh, Hang on, sorry, I turned off the sound. Quotable uh, portions of that. I'm gonna open. Do we have? Let's see if there's anybody. Michael streaming. Liam streaming. Or we can just not. Gaslight the children. Worst experiment ever. That's pretty good too. I mean, for a variety of reasons. Yeah, let's I'll, let's do worst experiment ever. We'll raid maniacal, and uh, yeah, we'll we'll do this on Wednesday. We will finish. We will finish Wednesday, and then I can't promise what we're gonna do in regards to the next game, just because he's very busy. For one thousand handstands or one million handstands. <laughs> Wait, that is really good. <laughs> Should we do one million handstands instead? Yeah, I kind of, I kind of, I'm sorry. Worst experiment ever is great, but one million handstands is kind of might be where it's at, um, because that was so absurd. It's so so. Just imagine for a moment, one million people handstands. Uh, it's like, did I spell that right? Yeah, yeah. I did. Okay. One million. Okay, and then we will we will finish on Wednesday, mm -hmm. and then I can't promise what we're gonna do in regards to the rest of the series. I'm sure we'll play them. We'll see how this game ends. <laughs> He's not committing, but I am. Um, but definitely not right away. Because again, as I've mentioned repeatedly in many places uh, forever, mm -hmm. someone, one of us is crazy busy right now. Yes. Um, and can't commit to doing streams with me. Yes. So it might not be for a little bit, but we will. I, I think we're going to do it. Yeah. I think so. Okay. I believe in. I like VLR. I, I think it's fun. I believe in the you that believes in us. I I do. I believe. Okay. Um. Let me post that and then. Okay. Will you get your chair? Will you go away? Yeah. I'll leave. All right. Goodbye, everybody. Um. I will send you over to Maniacal, and we will be back on Wednesday for more of this. We're gonna finish. We're gonna finish this time. Oh God! Don't hit the chair on the wall. Gamer. Wait, I always need to make sure I spelled his name right. Okay, yes. All right. Goodbye. Sorry, that was so chaotic and crazy. See you later. <laughs> Bye. <laughs>